we continue solving the book uh, starting out with Java we are in chapter 5 uh, actually we are the last we are in the last two uh, programming challenges in in chapter 5 and the problem that we are solving today is called it is called uh, it is number 25 it's called ESP game so I already created a, a class called ESP games so basically what they want us to create is an array of, of colors uh, red green blue orange and yellow and um, we have to uh, randomly pick a number a, a, a color uh, from that array and then ask the user to guess uh, what um, what the the color is if the user guesses we uh, we count uh, that if it doesn't uh, we do not if the user doesn't that doesn't guess it right so it, it, it is pretty simple it's not that difficult so let's let's begin um, first we will create a, we will create a main method uh, we will create a main method and uh, I will create scanner scanner object to take the keyboard it's kinda important you also need um, a counter for the loop because we have to run it uh, 10 times and then we start with the actual array which is a string array you can use it array list but but they said you know each each color has a number the zero uh, index would be uh, would be red the first index would be green so that's why I'm using that's why I'm using array so I will call it colors and then the first color is is red a green blue and the last two are orange and yellow So we have to create a for loop that would run until the color is exhausted, the color array. Then we have to create a random object to, to generate a random number. and the next int and the range would be color colors that length then after that we want to ask the user we want to ask the user um, guess the word and we will store the word in a scanner next line and then we will say if word equals first we have to We have to get the the word first, right? String computer selection 
equal colors and the index would be whatever the random number is the random index is because we are we are picking uh, the words just randomly so we are comparing our word to the computer's word right computer selection so if they match that means we get it right so we have to create a, a variable guesses guesses it would count our our guesses how many how many words we guess so every time every time we guess something right it increments by one and also they said we have to we have to show the word the selection selected word after we after we made the selection we have to show it and then it will compare it so um, they said we have to we have to run this loop uh, for 10 times right so this uh, this for loop only runs uh, five times uh, the length of the array so what we, we what we can do is I have counter here so each time the loop runs I would increment the counter and I would say if the counter is greater or equal to 10 I would break it so that that way we can set of satisfy both conditions we can run our um, we can iterate our array in the for loop and we can iterate our 10 iterations for the asking uh, question section um, simultaneously so after that they said we have to uh, you have to um, show you have to show the, the results our guesses our guess count and that would be guesses right so that is that would be it I think we created the array we created the scanner the counter the guess the for loop we generated a random number and give it as an index to the to the colors array we started here in the computer selection we displayed we asked uh, we asked the the user for their um, for their word after they made the after they entered uh, the word um, we displayed the selection then we compared the two uh, our word against the computer and if it's correct we increment otherwise we do nothing and then we increment the counter by one and then we check if the counter is greater or equal to 10 and if it is we break it so let's uh, let's run it Mm -hmm. it's not running for some reason yeah slow some slow my computer slow so they say guess word so we can only guess uh, 
uh, the words in the array. So let's say red. Um, I think we need we need a space. We need a new line here in the in the prompt after the prompt. So let's try it again. My computer is slow for some reason. I have to change it. Um, red. Oh, I think it's also here. So here I have to change it here for the new line. So now let's check it red. Selected word is blue, so we got it correct incorrect. How about yellow? Also incorrect. How about blue this time? No, nope, it's orange. How about red this time? Um I think we got it. Let's say now orange. I got it right. I got two out of ten. It's not it's not a good rate, but but we make it the we make it functional. The program is, is working just okay. You know, that's the, the it. We, we followed the instructions to the letter. They said we have to create a program uh, to create um, uh, an array and then we have to generate a random number to select a random word or random color from the array and we have to test against that so I think that would be that would be it I think for this uh, um, for this programming challenge I would post it in github or somewhere so you can see it uh, how I did it um, it is not that difficult it's really easy um, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.